Today's video is gonna be a little longer than normal. You just gotta promise me you're gonna stick with me here because this is an important message. And to be honest, I'm not sure why I haven't gone down this path before. I, I, I've thought about it and it's, it's just a big subject. It, I mean, it covers a lot. And I may even need to come back and do part B and part C. But today you're getting part one, part A. And the reason why I'm, I'm giving you this is because I recently had what you'll soon find out is what I call a ceremony with um, my daughter. We went out to dinner and it was a ceremony. On my little chart here that my wife and I have, have followed um, because of the wonderful instruction of, of, of two dear friends of ours, uh, it's information we learned in a small group that we went, went to small group for for numerous years with, with them Danny and, and, and Penny Allen they're, they're small group they are uh, uh, official accountability partners and mentors of, of to my wife and I but long story short we've taken this approach with our kids to to be very intentional and present in their lives uh, for, for at least 18 years and with that there's a level of structure that can go and some specific things you can do that will go a long way at helping my wife and I and helping you build strong, resilient, um, just beautiful, gracious, big hearted, loving, serving rock star kiddos. Okay, so the ceremony with my, my daughter. So on the sheet, you know, we have in this case it's what a son or daughter needs from dad but it all applies to most of it applies to mom too um what they need to see dad's loving arm dad's character dad's heart what they need to hear i love you i'm proud of you you're good at to receive encouragement life instruction and in our case we're, we're, we're christians jesus in their lives and to experience special one-on-one -on -one times and ceremonies back to ceremonies so my daughter turned 13 and on the chart, 13, 16, 18, and 21 are big times in their lives where ceremonies are important. My wife did something very, very special for my daughter. And, and I took her out to dinner and I got her a promise ring. And I surprised her at dinner, went to a nice sushi restaurant. We dressed up. It was so much fun, man. It's, it's, I'm, I, already, I can already tell you, I just have amazing memories from this, this moment that happened a couple days ago. This moment in time. But I got her this promise ring and as she opened it up and she put it on and she she loved it but we, we, we kind of let the we let we let the meal go for a while and we kind of built up i kind of built up the moment and i am i couldn't you know, listen if you've got a 13 year old teenage middle school high school kids you know they start to shut off a little bit and it's hard it's harder work for mom and dad for us to to, to get them to open up well, just the environment that I created with the ceremony, it, it, she opened up and we have, we're having a great conversation. Well, then I gave her the promise ring and I start to tell her what that promise ring is all about. As your dad, Lily, I promise to always be there for you. I promise to always be a sounding board. I promise to always re respect your opinion. I promise to always allow you to have a voice. I, I And I just went on and on all these things that I promised, you know, I promised to be the best version of myself, to give her the best instruction in life that I can to help guide her graciously. I went on for 10 minutes about the things that I promised her. I promised to be uh, a dad that, um, you know, in our family, it's very important for us to, to kind of pause every now and then and say, you know what? Would, would the cool dude that came and hung out with us for 30 some odd years, would he, would he say, I'm proud of how you just did that? In this case, I'm talking about Jesus. Would Jesus be proud? So I, I promised to her that I would do things in a way where, you know, Jesus and I could fist bump and he'd be like, yeah, dude, you freaking knocked that out of the park, you rock star. I'm proud of how you did that. So anyway, long story short, I promised all these things to my daughter. And let me tell you, we had the greatest hour and a half that I could ever remember having with her. And those times, it's tougher. She's 13 now, and she's becoming, rightfully so, she's becoming this beautiful, independent, young woman. 
and I, we, we love it. It's a little discouraging at times. It's a little, a, little, a little challenging at times for my wife and I, but it's very normal. But moms and dads out there, it's important to have these times. I'm going to dive into this a little more. So, again, the ceremonies, 13, 16, 18, and 21. I think it's kind of common sense why those are, are important times. At, at 16, you're kind of checking back in with what we talked about at 13. At 18... Sometime in that senior year, they turn 18. They're getting ready to leave the house. We need to have another awesome check-in. At 21, just another big time in their in their life. Um, when it's extremely important for them to start hearing, I'm proud of you and you're good at. From 13 to 18, very important time. And again, you from 1 to 18, you can tell them that. Dad's loving arm, 1 to 18. I'm sorry, 1 to 21. It's important for all the years. Um telling them that you love them they need to hear that from 1 to 21 on the sheet it gives you the guide it's it's i i got a little add going on in my brain folks if you know me i need i need some guidance i need a little i need a little checklist sometimes this is really good for me so um special one-on-one -on -one times right here from 7 to 21 special one-on-one -on -one times so this ceremony was really big and very intentional with my wife but I mean, with my, my daughter, sorry. But but sometimes it's just, instead of taking, you know, the whole family to have frozen yogurt or something, sometimes I'll just take my son or my daughter. And I create this moment where, in my sneaky little way, I create this moment where it's just the two of them. The phones are left in the car. You need to leave your, when you have these moments, my gosh, leave your phones in the car. Take a picture out in the parking lot with the restaurant sign in the back. So you can send to your wife or you can send to your husband and then put the car, the phone in the car and go inside and just have this awesome old school back and forth communication with no distractions. So we go to frozen yogurt, you know, things like that. Um, maybe just go to a little event, go to a concert or something. That's the special one-on-one -on -one times that we need to have periodically from the ages of seven to 21. Um, life instruction, very important from six to 18. Now here's the deal with that. After they move out, you've got to change your approach. You, instead of becoming, you're, you know, it's for lack of a better term, zero to 18, you're kind of the manager. Now you have to become um, just a part of their team, just a sounding board, just be somebody that's not always there. Teach, 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 teach. You just need to be a, a really good listener and, and, and let them, uh, you know, from zero to 18, you've let them fall sometimes. You need to let them fall. Uh, and you've picked them back up. But after 18, it's um, things shift a little bit and they actually need to shift. You need to let them be their own person. And you you have to kind of, they're, they're officially moving out of your house. And that needs to be a definitive break, mom and dad. And that's very important for that to happen. And that's a big ceremonial time. You know, dads or, or, or moms, whatever, if it's, you know, you, you I'm at, when my son turns 18, we're going to go do something. We may go to the Wyoming mountains or something and you, you just get away and go on it. We may hike the Colorado trail or something. Just he and I, it's got to be a big, a big ceremony. And I need to, I need to tell him that you are a man now. You are, you are a young man. It's, and you are ready and prepared to go on. Almost makes me cry thinking about it. Um, cause I know those days are coming one of these days but so long story short i only have about a minute left so i have to cut this off is you got to be intentional daily focus we stack good days on top of each other they don't have to be great days but good days on top of each other multiply 18 times 365 it's a massive number we have a lot of time to get this right good and good and good on top of good turns into great kids it can be great kids they won't be perfect but you have to be intentional. You have to be able to call them out graciously in the moment. You need to have a contract in the house um, and you include these in the contract. You, you let them see, your kids can see this. What I'll do is take a picture for all my clients. I will, I'll post this image in the, the Yancey Camp workout that that's, this message is gonna uh, be on top of. But um, anyway, man, this is obviously a message. I wish I had more time. I love y'all so much. Thank you for tuning. I will help you any way I can to help you serve your kids. It's a, it, it takes a village, and I'll be a part of your village if you want me to. Much love to each and every one of you. Keep lighting up the planet. Here's to raising awesome, rock star, gracious, beautiful kids. Much love.